This code sample includes four activities A, B, C, and D. The layout, the user interface layout of each one of them is the same. It looks like that. When executing a specific activity, the user can move to another activity by pressing one of these four buttons. If we check this checkbox, then the intent will be configured using a flag. If we take a look at the code itself, here you can find a call to the add flags method on the intent object we use. And here we pass over the constant flag activity reorder to front in order to configure the intent. Now, if we execute this code sample, we can see that on screen we get the name of the class the activity was instantiated from. It can be either A activity, B activity, C activity, or D activity. We can also see the hash code an indication for the ob object we are dealing with. Here you can see that if I press start A to start A activity, the number change, meaning we get a new object. Again, again, and again. Now, let's take a look at the current activity, A activity. Let's write down the hash code 109-449-0792 Now let's start the B activity and then C activity and then let's start again the A activity As you can see the hash code number is different from the one we saw before, meaning that this is a new object instantiated from a activity. Now, if we write down this new number 109411 and repeat the same steps, so we move to B activity and then to C activity, and now before pressing start A, let's select this checkbox so indirectly the flag activity reorder to front will be added meaning that now when I press the start a button if you check this ID number you will find that it is the same ID we had before meaning that we didn't get a new object, we simply returned to the one we already had.